guys, so today's video is going to be on my experience of taking the ACLS certification course. And for those of you who don't know what ACLS it is, oh, I can't talk. <laughs> if you don't know what ACLS is, it is the Advanced Cardiac Life Support, ACLS. So most of you probably have your BLS, your Basic Life Support CPR certification, because that's what's required for nursing school, that's what's required for most jobs, but a lot of nursing jobs require you to have your ACLS because it is a more advanced certification. So I'm gonna talk about my experience and kind of what ACLS is, and yeah. So ACLS is a course that really goes be way beyond basic life support. <laughs> you know, basic life support is your CPR and so your compressions and your, um, your, uh, <laughs> what am I going to say, bagging, your breathing, the respirations for the patient. Um, and so that that's your basic life support. You're doing compressions and you're helping the patient breathe. You're ventilating for them. ACLS goes above that and this is where you learn how to shock the patients, um, where you learn which meds to give, where you learn which rhythms are, you know, which rhythms do you do certain things for, um, where you, there's different meds, so like as far as like if a patient is in SVT or their heart rate is super fast, you should check out my SVT video, by the way, that I made, so if you don't know what SVT is, where, you know, you give adenosine really quick to slow down the heart rate, or where you synchronize cardiovert them in order to try and convert the heart rate back. So this is where you learn all of those things, and the cool thing about ACLS is for some reason, if you are in the hospital and your patient codes, and let's say they are in VTAC, they don't have a pulse, you know what to do per your ACLS protocol. And if there's no other doctor or anything, as a nurse, you can run. If you're ACLS certified, you can run the code. You know what to do. There's a very specific order of what you do. So if you notice your person is in VTAC, you start CPR, oh, sorry, and they're pulseless. <laughs> you start CPR and you, you know, you shock them, you do the epinephrine, you do shock them again, you do amiodarone. I'm not going to get into the specifics, but there's a pro protocol of like how long you wait between each step and, you know, how many joules you shock them with and all of that. So it's really kind of neat because if for some reason there's a code and there's no one else around, <laughs> I'm going to say no one else around. I always say there's people around, but let's say the doctor can't get there for another two minutes because they're on the other side of the hospital and there's no other doctor available. Nurses can run a code if you're ACLS certified. So that's a really cool thing about ACLS and I'm really glad I got it. The first time you're ACLS certified, it's a two day new provider course and then you get an, just like your BLS CPR, every two years you have to renew it but then it's only a one day course and you actually get your BLS CPR in ACLS when you renew it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm really glad I got it because that means that you know, I can work, I don't want to say I can work anywhere, but you know, you need it to work in the ICU, you need it to work in the ER. Um, again, this is a, a nursing provider course. This is not something that you really need during nursing school, but I wish I would have taken it in nursing school before I took critical care because I think it would have helped me out a lot with cardiac rhythms and knowing what meds we give and why and how they work and all that. So just a little tidbit of information. If you are going into critical care, you should take your ACLS. Um, most jobs, if they require your ACLS, they will pay for it, which is nice, and my job paid for it, which is even better. So anyways, that's my experience taking ACLS. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.